All right, hello again. It is me, Reaper of Trees. I am back for another little quick tutorial. This is going to be about your diameters. So first things we are going to do is we are going to hit the arrow on our touch screen. Either that or control A on your keyboard. You are going to come down to diagnosis and go to your diameter sensors. I don't know if I got that on, so let's go back again. So you're gonna hit diagnosis, diameter sensors. All right, I'll bring you to this screen here. First thing you need to do is hit the test. Make sure your hydraulics are on and you're at full RPM. Your head will automatically full pressure, which gives you this graph here for your diameter sensor. What we're looking for is up in here, this is your AD value. For your diameters to be accurate, it needs to be between 98 and 102. 97 and 103 is like pushing it, but uh, anything more and you should recalibrate in order to get a proper meters and for everything to run properly. Everything runs based on the diameters. So how you feed, how your knives grip onto the trees, the pulse, everything runs off the diameters. I can't stress how important it is if you want your machine to run proper. So we are going to rebuild a diameter graph that is in your measurement and calibration. You're gonna come into manual calibration. You can see this is my diameter graph right here. All right, so you're going to select the change, no, let's go back just so, yeah. Change diameter calibration. All right, so I'll bring you to this screen here. I am going to make sure that my graph is saved. All right, just make sure, yes, perfect. So, what you're gonna do is, once your number is properly set, if your graph is crap and you need to rebuild it, a very easy way to do it is to start at the number one, right there. And you click on that box, put in 1.1, 2.2 for number two, 3.3, five for number four, and then keep going up by two inches until you get to around 16 and a half, then it's about an inch and a half. Do that all the way up. Once you do that all the way up, you have all the numbers at the top. Next thing to do is to close this down. Don't pay attention to my numbers there or anything like that there. But. So once you've closed it down, very first thing that you should check is the all the way open should be at 30.8 right now it's 30.6 it's a little off but the way that they fix these graphs are crap anyway the only register up to 24 <sighs> more to them. all right so max open for the 622b i believe that the 622 series is uh 30.8 so what you would do is you would come back in you would go to your displayed you will put here 30.6 because that is what it displayed. We will come over here, we will put in 30.8. It shouldn't really change because it's only a 0.2, but this is an example of what you would do. Uh, so when you're working on your diameter graph and you're trying to get your open to your 30.8, you might start off with a 28, put in your 30.8, it goes up to say 29. You might have to do it a few different times until you get to 30.8. And it's the same thing on the low end when you're going for the 3.8. All right, just keep at her, you, you'll get this. And it would calibrate up and around this end here so that when you came out, you came out and you closed and opened it should go back again two points it didn't actually change anything second thing that you should do is close your feed rollers all the way 
on the 622 series uh, to the B with the out the four feed rollers because the four feed four feed rollers are crap. What you do is you make sure that it is set at 3.8, 3.7, somewhere in around there. So you close it all the way up, and whatever it says on your screen, you would come in, come back down to your manual calibration right here. You would come here, you would put in what it displayed it was when it was closed, and what you would put in for the measured. Let's see, make sure that I hit that. So what you would put in for the measured is 3.8, because that's what you know it should be. All right, once you do that, it'll fix the low end here, all right? So then the next step, I'm just gonna go back to the run mode here. The next step would be to grab your biggest log and then one without butt flare, do not calibrate taper. It will screw your graph quicker than anything. A little bit of taper is okay, like just like half inch, not even. But I mean, preferably round logs without that much of a taper. So once you get to that point, then you cut your first piece, measuring first when you do your, your cookie. So you're gonna first do your cookie, measure at that butt, come back up here, whatever it's saying on the screen, you would come back in, you go to calibrate, you would put what it said on the screen, then you would put what you measured. I will show you how to measure a log. I'll get out there and, and do one there. And then calibrate. And keep doing that for every piece all the way down. And let your machine get to where it thinks it's the minimum top. It's probably gonna be off, right? So when it gets off, when you get down to the minimum top, Cut it off, get out and measure, change it. That'll adjust your low end so that the next tree that you do, make sure if you get, if you can, try to get a different size tree and work the points in between. But the biggest point is to get the minimum top. No one likes small tops. So as long as your diameters can be off by like half an inch all throughout there, the biggest is right around the low point. So make sure you calibrate that up and get that to where you need for your minimum tops. Now, I'll just climb down and show you a quick little thing on how to measure a log for diameters. All right, here we are. We are going to measure for diameters. So for diameters, you're gonna go at an X. So we would have eight and a half here. You would come at an X here. You got nine and a half, and then straight up and down, nine. That gives you three points, average it out. So the average on this one would be nine inches. So as long as it says, you know, 9.1 to 8.9 on the screen, you're golden. If not, put what it says as the displayed, what you have is measured in the calibration screen, hit calibrate section, it will change it for you. Once you have gotten back out of the calibration screen and getting ready to move to your next point, make sure that you open the feed rollers and close the feed rollers and zero out your saw again. That is the proper way to do a calibration. All right, I hope this helps. This is Reaper of Trees signing out. Peace out, homies. And the machine is pretty much done regenerating. So now that was with the tree that I measured and there's where we're at. So it's close enough, it's up by 0.2. So I'd say that's pretty good. You don't want to mess around with it too much. You don't need it exact. Pretty much the only place you need it exact is on the top. All right, hope this helps. And uh, if, it, if it does, like, subscribe. I'm gonna be putting out more helpful stuff. All right, 